Hey guys, another Shopify tutorial for beginners and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can bulk edit your products um, using the bulk option. Okay, so to start with, simply go into the product section located on the left corner of your page and let's say I want this thing in here to be added as accessories. So what you can do is um, just, let's say I'm gonna open, like select a specific, um, this one. Okay, so like I want to add a bulk options for my um, headband. Also, let's say um, you have a lot of products and like filling it in is not like not ideal if you want it to be like, Man, if manually selecting the items would take so much of your time, I would suggest that you can also um, use a view. So you create a temporary view. So let's say I want to select all the headbands. I'm gonna click create view headbands. And then on the filter side, I will add a filter. Let's call it, um, so we're gonna be targeting, let's say I'm going to target the collection under head wear and it will allow me to um, have all the head wear products. I mean, you can delete this one after, but what I'm the reason why I'm showing this to you guys is um, for you to easily select the items that you want to bulk edit okay so let's say i want to add other things um, on this products i'm going to select all the items and then look, we click on the bulk edit and in the bulk edit you should have a lot of options for you to do the bulk edit um, you can you know like activate or draft things um, there is also an option, let's say this one, tags. So currently the tags is just headband. So if you want to add something like, um, let's say accessories, it's easier for you to edit things than manually going to the individual pages. So yeah, so is it or correct? spelling but anyway so save it and then you also have other option in here um yeah aside from you know the tags and stuff you have a lot of um columns that you can edit easily so this area is actually super handy versus on um individually you know going to the indiv to the page and then putting in the tags so that's too much other thing you can also do is um, let's say I'm going to go into this custom designs and some of the custom designs um, let's say this one and this um, and this and let's say this because this is a kimono um, design so let's say I'm going to add an extra tag so you click the three um, dots in here, more action, and then you also have option to um, add a tags or ex remove a, a tag that is already existing. So let's say I'm gonna remove tags. Um, it's gonna allow you to like yeah, like select. So what right now, I think I, I put that as rest. So I wanna make sure that it's not flog as rest because that is a kimono style so save it and then i will um design and then this and this i will re-add the tags so i'm gonna add a tags and then this is um under kimono and on top of that like inner like inside the kimono dress not kimono dress inside of the kimono there's also a trouser so you can put buttons and bottoms and trouser and then save and yeah um instead of like because like before other like especially beginners are doing is they they individually going to the page and then adding the tags which is um very 
um, time consuming. Um, so that's how you can easily edit things, especially um, if the items, let's say, has a lot of variants. The bulk edit is very um, useful for you guys to do. Um, so yeah, I hope other things as well, aside from, you know, removing ad tags, there's also an easier, easier way for you to add into a collections and the list goes on. So again, if you have any question, let me know and comment down below.